Hey, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. The weather ahead this week has a lot of ups and downs, and we'll get to what you need to know for today first, and then look ahead at more snow in your forecast. Hey, be sure down to download Hutch's Weather app now. Brand new, and it's in the app stores today. Search Hutch's Weather. It's free. And it is, in my opinion, is the best one out there. Your forecast next. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, we have a good old-fashioned downslope warming event taking place in the eastern parts of Montana, and that's spreading into western North Dakota. It'll take a little bit to get here. We'll have growing pains along the way. Areas of patchy fog going to be likely. There could be some frost on cold surfaces like your deck, like your sidewalks, and even roads can accumulate some frost even though they were dry with winds that are bringing in more humid air. So keep that in mind the next couple of days. We'll rise into the 35 to 40 degree range for many here in the valley. I don't think we get too much warmer than that thanks to the fact that we've got a very cold surface and these Chinook winds often only impact the western part of North Dakota and eastern Montana, sometimes reaching the central part of the state, which these will. We will see a big time weather shift as we go into your Wednesday and Thursday with our chance of snow. More on that later. That will be followed up by several days of Arctic air with periods of warm-ups and flurries in the midst as well as we go through. Here's what you need to know for today. As you head out the door, temperatures will be in the teens here in the valley. They'll be warming up to around the mid-teens as we go into the morning hours, but north winds return in parts of northwest parts of Minnesota, and that means we'll see single-digit readings in the afternoon there. While temperatures uh, settle back a little bit because there'll be an increase of clouds and a chance for some showers of rain in the eastern plains of Montana. Here in the middle, We'll have steady to slowly rising temperatures throughout the day, but that wind will take on more of a northerly and westerly uh, tilt to it as we go into our afternoon on our day today. So that is a look at the weather. Let's go to the hour-by-hour -hour forecast uh, taking us through the snow potential as we go through uh, the remainder of our work week. Here's what you need to keep in mind. Nothing really changes until we get into that time frame of Wednesday. Then we'll have mixed bag of, of tricks as we go through midday out west and up north. Quickly becoming snow, though, as cold air gets pulled down from this system. Notice rain showers across Minnesota, so keep in mind there could be some slippery spots Wednesday night and into Thursday. This is midnight on Wednesday night. Now, as we go into Thursday morning, gusty north winds are going to tug down some Arctic air once again, and that's going to cause the wraparound snow. Look at the wind. So as we go into Thursday morning, there could be tricky travel along the northern tier. This model right now is the European model, and it's carrying it right along the international border. There will be a chance for some of the snow to sneak down south, but the best chance for accumulations will go into our Thursday and across Minnesota as we go through. Here's how much the European model is thinking when it comes to snowfall amounts, and that's here along the international border. A narrow band of heavier snow, we'll call it six plus possible, rapidly decreasing amounts as you go south or north of the heavier band. That said, this track could shift a little bit as we get there. There are still some uncertainties and disagreements of, of among models, some carrying it through central parts of Canada and others carrying it deeper to the south here into North Dakota. I'll keep you apprised of it, but I do think this is our best bet for the model right now, and that's why I've got what I've got. Here's another look at your seven-day forecast. And Hey, if you have time, stick around and scan. Get your telephone ready uh, and scan in the code to download Hutch's weather app right here. This is been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Wait, you forgot the new app. You're right. Don't forget to download our new app. Thanks for watching Hutch's weather.